Hello everyone, my name is Gwen. Welcome to Chocolate Time Recipes and Inspirations. I have a great recipe for you today. It is German chocolate cake bars, which is absolutely yummy, irresistible. The German chocolate cake is a really yummy recipe because of the frosting, pecans and coconut. This is an easy version. It's a bar recipe. It's a recipe for champions. Speaking of champions, my inspiration today is about a true champion. A guy was born with, this is a true story, his face was paralyzed on the lower left side which caused him speech slur. He decided he wanted to be an actor. In spite of all this, he was brave enough to pursue something he really wanted to do and he did but when he applied for these jobs nobody would take him on so he wrote his own script and it was such an awesome script that when he tried to sell it they said yes we want it however he wanted to act in it and they said nope sorry so he said in spite of the fact that he really by this point had no money and was struggling he walked away he said unless i can be in it i'm not selling it they came back to him he starred in the movie. You might know the movie Rocky with Sylvester Stallone. That's how his career started. I think that that's the real champion story. And now let's make that recipe for champions. Okay, what you will need is a, a cake mix. I love making these cake mix recipes because it makes it easy. And you take a cake mix and you make it into something wow. So this is a devil's food cake mix. Um, you need a third cup of butter, room temperature butter, one beaten egg, one cup of coconut, one cup of chopped pecans, and we're going to need a cup and a half of sweetened condensed milk. If you notice, I have the milk sitting in hot water so that when we, when we pour it out to measure, it's going to flow a lot more easily. It won't be as thick. We have another beaten egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla, and another portion of coconut, half a, half a cup. So, what we're going to do first is we are going to put the oven on at 350 and I have a 9 by 13 pan which I am going to spray with cooking spray. Okay, that's done. Put that aside and I love using measuring cups um, when I'm, even when I'm mixing things with my little hand beater. So, I'm going to put the butter in here. And the egg. And we're just going to mix it up. Just for a few moments. Okay, I have that mixed up. Um, because what I am going to do with that, so let's, let's look at it. So we, we have the egg and, and the butter mixed up because we're adding it to the cake mix. And what we want to do is we want to make it into a crumbly, a crumb mixture that we're going to put in the bottom of the pan. I love that story about Sylvester Stallone. I remember seeing that movie years ago, the Rocky movie. It was such a sweet story. I know there was boxing in it, but there was, it was a really sweet story. When you're doing something like this, it's so easy when you use your hands. So you really want to make sure that the egg and the butter is well mixed in. We, we have a crumbly mixture. All the dry portions are blended in. Now we're, I'm going to put it in the pan.
Okay. And I'll just press it down. And we have a really nice chocolate base for our German chocolate bars. And this is a really nice base to work with because when these squares are made, they cut well. You have to make sure that you cool them, but once they're cool, they cut really nicely. I, I love graham cracker crumbs because that's another type of base, but sometimes they get really crumbly, graham cracker crumbs. This stays together really nicely. Okay, we have the base and now we're going to make what goes on top of this. So, first thing we're going to do is measure out the sweetened condensed milk. So we need a cup and a half and this gives me about a cup. As I say, if, if you put it in hot water it pours out much more easily. So I wish we have some milk left in this container here. This one's empty. So I'll have to use this at some future date. Okay, so I'm going to pour it into my mixing cup. I measured it in this cup because it's a little bit easier to see the measurement. But now I have to add, I, what we need to add is an egg and the vanilla, half a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're going to beat, beat this for three minutes. And now what we need to do is add the chopped pecan, that's one cup and one cup of coconut. As I mentioned, coconut and pecan, and this is kind of a really nice, beautiful topping, icing. That is very popular wherever you go. So I have it spread out over the topping or, or over the bottom and now I'll just sprinkle the remaining half cup of coconut over this. So our oven is at 350. So we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes depending upon your oven. It will be ready between 25 and 35 minutes. It's when it's golden on top, when it just starts to turn golden. So I'm going to put it on for 30 minutes. Okay, so that took my oven 30 minutes and it is a beautiful golden, lightly golden on top, ready to, um, ready to cool. <laughs> so let it cool for at least one or two hours. It better, much better if you cut it when it's cool. My favorite part, I get to try this wonderful recipe. It looks so good. It cut, after cooling, it cuts really nicely. A great November treat. So. That is absolutely delicious rich chocolate base with the baked on frosting of pecans and coconut. It doesn't get any better than that. A really nice November treat to enjoy with your family and friends. I really enjoyed sharing this recipe with you. Thank you for joining me at Chocolate Time. Here's to you.